Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So I have a message from God that I got at 3.45 a.m. December 6, 2023. Thus says the Lord thy God, I will avenge the innocent blood that cries out to me. No more will I hold my peace. I will take vengeance. Vengeance belongs to me. So God is avenging innocent blood. And there's some scriptures that I should read. Exodus chapter 23 verse 7. Keep thee far from a false matter. And the innocent and righteous slay thou not. For I will not justify the wicked. So just the wicked won't be justified in what? Innocent, slaying innocent blood. Psalms chapter 94 verse 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. They gather them, Psalms 94 and 21, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. You know, Psalms 94 talks about people um, gathering to shed innocent blood right and in god's message it says i will he will avenge innocent blood that cries out to him and no more will he hold his peace and he will take vengeance because vengeance belongs to him and in psalms 94 it talks about god's vengeance vengeance belongs to god and about shedding innocent blood you should read the whole psalms 34 i mean psalms 90, 94 now you have to know shedding innocent blood falls under the six things that the Lord hates and seven are an abomination unto him. So Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 to 17. These six things does the Lord hate, yeah? Seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. Now in Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 17, but thy eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness, and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence to do it. So you got a lot of people, they, they shed innocent blood to covet what somebody's. They want to kill people for what belongs to them. That's a covetous killing. That's innocent bloodshed. He says, but thy eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness and to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it. Now Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 6, Therefore as I live, says the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Now Deuteronomy chapter 19 verse 10, That innocent blood be not shed in thy land, which the Lord thy God gives thee for an inheritance, and so blood be upon thee. You know, when you shed innocent blood, you bring God's judgments on that that city, on that land, when people shed innocent blood. Now, in Matthew chapter 23, verse 32, I'm going to read some, script, some, some precepts out of Matthew chapter 23, verse 32. Fill ye up the measure of your fathers, ye you, you serpents, you generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I sent unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify, and some of them you shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Bar Barakiah, whom you slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Now, Jeremiah chapter 7 and 6. If you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, you'll live. Now, Isaiah chapter 59 verse 7. This is what people are doing. Their feet run to evil. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. So they're in a hurry to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are the thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. 
Je Jeremiah 22 and 17, but thy eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness and for to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it. Now Psalms 106 and 38, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrifice unto the idols of Canaan, and that the land was polluted with blood. You pollute the land when you shed innocent blood. You defile the land when you shed innocent blood. You bring judgments of God on the land when you shed innocent blood. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 8. Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood upon thy people of Israel's charge, and the blood shall be forgiven them. Because they understand that shedding innocent blood, you, you pollute the land. You bring judgments of God on the land. Now, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10 to verse 13. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lie wait, lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find our precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. So, what are they saying? They're saying, let, let, let's go and shed, with, lie wait for blood. So they're saying, to shed innocent blood. They're trying to covet some, somebody else's goods. They want to kill somebody for their goods. If they say, come with us, let's lay wait for blood. Let us slurp privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole, as whole. As those that go down into the pit, we shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. So they want to kill innocent blood to fill their houses with precious substance and fill their houses with the spoil that they rob from an innocent person. That's why it says about their hearts being for covetousness in Jeremiah Jeremiah 22 and 17 but thy eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness and for to shed innocent blood that's covetousness they want to murder innocent blood for to covet from them in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 11 to 13 when they say come let us go but God said consent not with them if sinners entice thee, consent thou not to do such thing. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 9. So shall thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you. You're guilty when you shed innocent blood. So shall thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you. When thou shalt do that, which is right in the sight of the Lord. But did you hear the prayer? Did you hear the prayer about what the precept prayer where he said, lay not the charge upon Israel? That I read, he said, lay not the charge of innocent blood on Israel. Because they understand judgments come on the inhabitants of the land for shedding of innocent blood. Now, in Deuteronomy 21 and 8, Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto thy people of Israel's charge, and the blood shall be forgiven them, because you're guilty. God will not justify the wicked in shedding innocent blood. Now, Pontius Pilate understood that about innocent blood. Which in, in Matthew chapter 27 and 24. When, pa, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing. But that rather a tumult was made against Christ. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude. Saying I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. So he said Christ is innocent blood. And he's a just person. He, he wants no part. Of the judgments that come with shedding innocent blood. Because your curse. A curse comes with shedding innocent blood. And being a partaker in it. Or even an accomplice. Jeremiah chapter 26 verse 15. But ye know for certain. 
They wanted to shed Jeremiah's innocent blood for speaking the truth. Now Jeremiah chapter 26 verse 15. But you but you know for certain that if you put me to death you shall surely bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city. See like you you bring judgment upon a whole city when you do that and upon the inhabitants thereof even the people who live there for of a truth the lord has sent me on to you to speak all these words in your ears so they wanted to slay jeremiah for speaking the truth but jeremiah told them if they slay his innocent blood they will sh they will surely they will bring innocent blood upon their cells and upon the city and the inhabitants who live in the city <laughs> The first book of Samuel, chapter 19, and verse 5. This is when Samuel went to go talk to Saul about him wanting to slay David, innocent blood, without cause. For he did put his life in his hand and slew the Philistine, and the Lord wrought a great salvation for all Israel. Thou saw it, that's what he was saying to Saul, and did rejoice. Wherefore, he says to Saul, wherefore then will thou sin against innocent blood to slay David without a cause because Saul was envious and jealous of David he wanted to slay him but the prophet the, I mean the seer Samuel went to speak to Saul and he said to him wherefore then will thou sin against innocent blood to slay David without a cause Jonah chapter 1 and verse 14 Therefore they cried unto the Lord, and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood, because God avenges innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. Even with Jonah, they said, Let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 25 because you're cursed when you do that Cursed be he that takes reward to slay an innocent person and all the people shall say Amen Proverbs chapter 28 verse 20 a faithful man shall abound with blessings but he that makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent isn't making haste to be rich and not being innocent, cursed be he that takes a reward to slay an innocent person. And all the people shall say amen. And God will not, you're guilty doing such things. God will not justify the wicked, as he said. Now, um, Psalms chapter 15, verse 1 to verse 5. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He that backs bites not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is condemned, but he honors them that fear the Lord. He that swears to his own hurt and changes not. He that puts not out his money to usury, nor takes reward against the innocent. He that does these things shall never be moved. Mosiah chapter 17 verse 10 they wanted to kill Mosiah as well for speaking the truth and what did he say to them like they wanted to kill Jeremiah for speaking the truth what God told him to speak to them he said yeah I will suffer even unto death and I will not recall my words and then they shall stand as a testimony against you he says killing him it will stand as a testimony against those men and if you slay me you shall shed innocent blood and this shall also stand as a testimony against you at the last day deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 43 rejoice O you nations with his people for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people so God avenges the blood of his servants. That is avenging innocent blood. And will render vengeance to his adversaries. Those who shed innocent blood. Those who take a reward to shed innocent blood. Doctrine and Covenants chapter 32. 
132 verse 19 um, to um, verse 23. And again, really, I say unto you, if a man marry a wife by my word, which is my law, and by the new and everlasting covenant, and this sealed unto them by the Holy Spirit of promise, by him who is anointed, unto whom I have appointed this power and the keys of this priesthood, and it shall be said unto them, You shall come forth in the first resurrection, and if it be after the first resurrection, in the next resurrection, and shall inherit thrones, kingdoms, principalities, powers, dominions, all heights and depths, then shall it be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and he shall commit no murder, whereby to shed innocent blood. And if you abide in my covenant and commit no murder, whereby to shed innocent blood, murder to shed innocent blood, it shall be done unto them in all things whatsoever my servant has put upon them in time and through all eternity, and shall be a full force when they are out of this world. And they shall pass by the angels and the gods which are sent there to their exaltation and glory in all things as has been sealed upon their heads which glory shall be a fullness and a continuation of the seeds forever and ever then you shall you be as gods because they have no end you won't be a god but as gods because they have no end right therefore shall they be from everlasting to everlasting because they continue then shall they be above all because all things are subject unto them then shall they be as gods because they have all power and the angels are subject unto them verily verily i say unto you except you abide in my law you cannot attain to this glory for straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads on to the exaltation and continuation of the lives and few be there that find it because you receive me not in the world neither do you know me but if you receive me in the world then shall you know me, and shall receive your exaltation, that where I am you shall be also. Doctrine and Covenants chapter 93 verse 38. Every spirit of man was innocent in the beginning, and God having redeemed man from the fall, men beca became again in their infant state, innocent before God. So... I'm going to read the message of God one more time. This is God avenging innocent blood. And we just went in. This is something that God hates. It, it falls under the six things that the Lord hates. And seven is an abomination unto him. Shed an innocent blood. Right? And he's avenging innocent blood. And it's a commandment not to do it. Keep thee far from a false matter. And and the innocent and righteous slay thou not for i will not justify the wicked so the message again is thus says the lord thy god i will avenge the innocent blood that cries out to me no more will i hold my peace i will take vengeance vengeance belongs to me amen stay blessed beautiful people